This is Andy with Quality Stocks. Today is Wednesday, September 15, 2010, and today we're going to take a look at Bank Atlantic Bank Corps. This is a New York Stock Exchange stock trading on the ticker BBX. This chart fell through support recently a couple weeks ago. It's the only reason that this is on my mind right now is because of the way it's got a resistance level established right through here. I'm watching it to see if it's going to get some volume and try and push through that point. Lower indicators are given some indication, but not a lot. There's a little bit of uptrend to it. To the histogram, we're seeing a little bit of uptrend happening with the MACD as well. So we're going to look for this to continue and try and make a move. Right now, I'm just paying attention. This is primarily a price per share play. I want to see if it's going to make that move. Pinch kind of coming into effect. You can see the ADX is just now crossing through 40, so it's not very high at this point. The negative DI is even given a hint that it might twist up farther. The MFIs are in a nice position, all in close proximity to each other. There's a little bit of separation, but it's not that bad. You see the 7 just started to make a move a little bit yesterday, so that's actually still in pretty nice position. Even with the big drop, you can see that the accumulation distribution is in a flat line. So it's got a, kind of a channel going on through here. It hasn't done any major drops, showing there's been just piles of selling. Uh, Chaking money flow kind of going right along with that, kind of running sideways. But we're about ready to see the CCI pop through negative 100, which is a, a buy point for bottom feeders a lot of times. An example of it is right through here. It would be a buy point and then a quick sell, a buy point and then a pretty quick sell, a buy point and a hold. It's used in conjunction with the other indicators, but for bottom feeders, the break out of negative 100 is a buy point, and the break back down is the sell point. Full stow is still riding along the bottom. We talk about this a lot of times. It can trend in oversold or overbought territory for a long time. It's been going now for over a month in oversold territory. So we're going to look for this to try and get a little bit of strength behind it. The initial break is the break of 20, and ultimately you're looking for a break of 50 to add some true strength to it. Tricks is also still... In a downward trend, still seeing a pretty decent amount of separation right here with no real hint of flatlining at this point. We want to see this start to try and turn and start to roll back towards zero. The RSIs were looking pretty good coming back up out of 30. They were getting a nice uptrend to them. You see they flatlined back out. With these last four days, we've been seeing some buying and then some selling, some buying and then some selling. So it's kind of having a little bit of a tough time trying to get a solid uptrend to it. That's why it's kind of choppy looking. What we want to see is this have a d another decent day and break back up above 30. Like I say, this is pretty much a candle play. I want to see this bottom support hold at 87 for sure. But I'm just watching for some volume to come in. See, volume is kind of slacking off a little bit as it makes this little solid uptrend. I'm just looking for it to break through that resistance with some volume because I think it has a decent chance of coming up here and testing near this old uh, support level that it fell through, which so also happens to be the 20-day moving average. And that's a pretty decent gain from where it is right now. Closed at 94 to up over $1.10. 20-day moving average is at $1.14. So that's why this chart came of interest to me when it popped up on a scan. Um, obviously, it's had a pretty big drop from $3.28 all the way down to $0.90. Cents. So I'm just looking at it now for a possible bounce and maybe perhaps a reversal, but right now I'm just looking for this break to look and see if there's a possibility of a nice little bounce. 343,000 shares on a kind of down day for volume, plenty of liquidity to get in and out on a play like this. So that's just my thoughts and what I'm looking at. Again, this is Andy with Quality Stocks. Thank you and trade smart.